Florida is home to all sorts of invasive species, but one has the potential to do some serious damage to our local marine ecosystems and our local food, seafood industry. ABC 7's Kate Flexter has the story. That's right, Alan. The lionfish is a predator, but it has no real predators itself, so it poses major risks to our local reef fish. 241. One by one, volunteers measured and recorded the height, width, and weight of each and every lionfish, all part of Moat Marine Laboratory's annual lionfish derby. We want to educate people about the problem of this invasive species, and we also want to give them a chance to learn how to make a dent in these populations. While beautiful, the lionfish is considered the most destructive exotic species in Florida's marine waters. That's mainly because it has no real predators. But as a predator itself, it's a major threat to Florida's native species and ecosystems. The lionfish consumes more than 120 different species of fish and crustaceans. And in heavily invaded areas, they've reduced fish populations by up to 90 percent. They are very fast reproducing. They're venomous and they can eat a lot of native fish. Um, and they've caused some native fish populations to really decrease in invaded areas. Florida's lionfish invasion began more than 20 years ago off the Atlantic coast. Experts suspect it began when someone released aquarium lionfish into the wild. Ocean currents and hurricanes helped the fish spread all the way to the Gulf Coast. During the derby, divers try to keep that growing population under control, competing to spear as many of the fish as they can. Anytime I'm out spear fishing, I'm always looking for a large concentration of lionfish so I can go back and harvest them during a tournament. And to keep all of those fish from going to waste, local restaurants prepared and served unique dishes featuring the invasive species. Lionfish is becoming more mainstream as a food item. Recently, Whole Foods began selling the fish. The catches can be inconsistent and difficult to keep in stock. We can't put the lionfish on our menu always because it's a very inconsistent thing with the spear guys. Um, but when we can and we have it on our menus, you know you, you're cooking something you really feel good about, and that's awesome. The derby is also an opportunity for scientists. This gives us more specific information. We know these fish are voracious. We know that they eat a wide variety of prey items. Basically anything they can fit into their mouth is what it seems. And nothing is eating them. Those scientists not only measured the fish, but also studied the DNA content of their stomachs, determining what the lionfish are eating and which species may be in danger. And by doing this, we'll be able to know how much of what is in the lionfish diet is specifically related to those species that we value the most uh, commercially and recreationally. Not only do lionfish eat a wide variety of fish, but they also compete for food with commercially valuable fish like snapper. 